One thing I'm glad I didn't go to college for, and nor have I been to college, so I got to keep some of my money. But uh, I've been a graphic designer ever since I was 14 years old. Who can say that? What's up everybody, it's your boy Whirlwind here and I'm about to tell you some uh, little bit of tidbits about myself and when it comes down to my graphic designing. I've been studying graphic design since I was 14 years old. I'm in my 30s now. So around when I was 14, that's when my parents finally got us a computer, an old HP pavilion. Who remembers that thing? Look dusty and gray. As soon as mom and dad got that thing, I started breaking that thing down and trying to figure out how to work this thing because parents, you know, you know how they are with technology. Hey, can you, uh, you know, get this fixed for me? I can't get this window off. Can you help me with this? Can you fix the router? Who has that problem? Anyway, when I was 14 years old, that's when it all started. I had a very early version of Adobe Photoshop, and I was destined to try to make that thing work. So I used to be a part of a bunch of forums for the games I like to play and a lot of the, uh, you know, Neopets, Gaia, Maple Story, stuff like that. And all those places had guilds and these really cool banners for teams and, you know, just clubs in those games. So I wanted to learn how to make those things. So I picked up on doing those things through Photoshop. Now, just to just to clarify how old I was, you know, I didn't have YouTube for the tutorials. I had to read the stuff and look at bogus you know still frame screenshots now one of the cool things about that is i was able to follow the instructions properly because you had to read everything and this is coming from a dyslexic kid it helped <laughs> throughout my learning process i was doing what i could to copy a lot of the intricate designs that i would see in advertisements on images and things like that i would practice some of those really intricate but easy to designs that you know a lot of these things are teaching you how to build and when i learned how to do the easy things it sparks new ideas for me to be able to use those tricks and tips on other things in my designing you know skill set there are tons and tons of tutorials online here and there for just about anything with graphic design and a lot of it's very fun now you don't have to just jump right into it and try to learn the most crazy thing learn the tools inside photoshop that actually give you the easy ways to be able to build something such as like logos you know logos are actually very easy to design but you know to get some of those crazy cool looking type of things you need to like study up and figure out like what kind of logo would you like to design sometimes copy logos that you see and know of and try to recreate those in the time of your training it's like backwards engineering you break something apart learn how to you know pull it apart and put it back together you know that's what you know we did for this you know spaceships i mean we found a crashed alien ship and put that thing together. I like conspiracies and I like aliens. As of this training, guess what? As soon as I turned 17, I became a pro graphic designer for a number of companies. Now, when I say pro, I'm not saying like I was like known throughout the country, you know, for doing certain things for people. I was doing a lot of things at the age of 17, designing for businesses that are still around today. So those are that are actually trying to get into graphic design, you know, figure out what program works for you. You don't exactly have to use Adobe Photoshop. You could be using GIMP. And I hear that one is a very cool thing to use for graphic design and just drawing through and whatever. But learn some basics and, you know, graphic design is a really great uh, career path for a lot of people in the arts. I don't just illustrate things. I also do graphic design and I enjoy it because with me doing my art and working on Skylark, I get to also design the packaging and the advertisement of what I'm working on for my career. It, it's, it's, it's like a double-edged sword. I've been sharpened twice on both sides of me. How dope is that? <laughs> Double threat? 
the reason why I, you know brought this story up is because a lot of people ask me so like what did i start doing as at a young age and some people were asking me is just like what like when i was doing certain kind of jobs you know i had to kind of stop them and say i didn't have that job it was my first job my first job was a graphic designer and i in, there's nothing wrong with it but yeah i didn't want to you know be a delivery guy i didn't want to be you know uh working at a restaurant and stuff like that it's just not for me it wasn't for me so the funny thing is is a lot of people were watching me as i was doing a lot of my own graphic design for you know in-game money in you know neopets gaia online maple story and other video game things online that allows me to be able to contact and talk to other people i would be building their guild designs their uh working with their html coding and being able to put the the guild images inside the codes for their web designs so those are things i was also learning at the age of 14. now one of the reasons why I was able to do this as I was homeschooled my whole life. So I was able to do a lot of things in uh, working with myself for the future. So I brought this little bit of information up to you guys because I wanted to let you know exactly how did I come about in my graphic design field. You know, I had a number of friends that asked me this question and I end up telling the story very often. So. I thought it'd be helpful, beneficial to you guys to let you know that, hey, I started pretty early with graphic design before even going to college. And I didn't even go to college for any of this. I actually taught myself because internet was for me back then. It was with me and I just, you know, set out to learn. Sometimes that's a part of the journey. So as of sharing, I hope this helps you level up and, you know, go forth and uh, try to find certain tutorials out there for you. YouTube has tons of them for free information for you to learn. And sometimes it's going to avoid you, you know, digging in your pockets to go to college. Don't get me wrong. I believe in college for a certain percentage, but there is a lot online that's free information for you to learn. So that wraps everything up. Hope you guys enjoyed that. You know, this is your boy Whirlwind, and I'm just going to say this. Let's go ahead and uppercut that like button, share and subscribe. And guess what, guys? I am out. My lighting is looking super dope. Like, I like it. It looks good. How do you guys like it? Do you like it? You like the blue? I could change it to different colors. Y'all just tell me, you know, later on down the road, I guess, you know. So, yeah. How are you guys doing? I hear it's pretty funny out these days. Yeah. Getting things done. Having fun. Checking off all those uh, Netflix movies and TV shows that you've been meaning to watch. Yeah. Me too. Me too.